Hi guys, today we're going to show you how to remove some stuck injectors on your Cummins 12 valve. This This is a really common problem um, because uh, things can kind of get down up inside here and uh, cause the injectors to get stuck. So um, to do this, you're going to want to buy a special tool. We sell them um, uh, through our website, so you can go check that out. But uh, basically, there's two different sizes. If you have a Gen 1 Dodge, a 93 and earlier, um, you're going to need the one for the VE pump, and that is a uh, 12 by 1.5 millimeter uh, thread for the top. And then the later model P-pumps, uh, they take a 14 millimeter by 1.5 uh, thread on the top of their injectors. So I'm gonna reposition the camera and show you guys exactly how uh, this uh, tool works in removing these stuck injectors. One thing you don't wanna do ever is pry on them or jerk on them or do anything like that because you're gonna end up damaging the injectors. So. This tool is uh, inexpensive enough and it covers both years. Uh, I include both sizes. So here we go. Um, this is what the injector looks like uh, removed. You can see it's got uh, this uh, retaining uh, indexing uh, ball right there which uh, once it's installed in the cylinder head prevents the injector from rotating around. That's why you can't, uh, you can't really move these. I mean they will move a little bit but not uh, not enough to really break all of the all of the stuff free to get it to come out so um, we've already removed the the retaining nut so that's off and we've sprayed a little bit of uh, penetrating uh, solvent down inside there so now here's where the special tool comes in so you just slip that right directly over the body and thread the nut on and then very gently just tighten that nut down you hear that uh, little popping sound that's normal that's actually it just kind of releasing and so you'll just keep ratcheting until it ratchets really really easily so much so that I can now turn it by hand then you know the injector is completely free so go ahead and lift it up and that's it. So that's how the tool works and that will save you an enormous amount of grief and potential damage to your cylinder head or your injector. So there's the tool. I'll uh, put a link to the product in the description of this video so that you guys can uh, purchase this. Trust me it will save you a lot of headache and it is money it is money well spent. So thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any other questions.